hope you're all having a beautiful day so far. If you're new, hey, my name is Emily, and today we are doing part one for the living room makeover in the renovation house. It has been quite the process to get it to the stage that we are. And I say that every time because it, it was a total gut job of a place, and it, we have had to add basically everything. We added drywall, but we added windows into the living room. We added the flooring, we added trim, we painted. It has been quite the process, and I'm so excited to be where we are today, to be able to decorate and see how furniture fits in the space. It's really small and quaint. It reminds me of a cottage. just feel like that would be a beautiful vibe for it. So I, it's gonna take me a little bit of time to add some character to it. If you saw last week's video, I added some character to the bedroom, and whoa that was either a love or a ooh I do not like that take it down how I feel about the space too it's like I love it but I also don't like it so I'm trying to find a happy medium in there with my vision boards how it's all going to look I hope you're excited for today's video give it a big thumbs up share it with your friends everything you see in today's video will be linked in the description box below as well as in the comments so that's easy to find but yeah I hope you guys are excited let's get started working on this living room makeover this is the living space it's not big at all you can tell it's a little bit echoey right now but I'm excited to give it a little bit of a makeover and have somewhere to sit when we come here. I'm really excited because I get to partner with Walmart for today's video. I'm so excited to be working with them. And you guys know I shop there constantly and I show you all the goodies that they have when they bring out new stuff. Well, walmart.com has some amazing pieces. Don't forget, it's not just a place you get to go, but you can go online and find beautiful pieces to decorate your home. I think it's gonna really look good in here. This is gonna be phase one of the living room makeover. I still have a lot of things I wanna do to this space to add some character to it, but um, we are gonna dress it up and see how the furniture fits because it's a very tight spot. And so I found some really nice size items that I think that will fit in this space really well. So let's unbox everything and start decorating and get this place looking beautiful. Just, I couldn't get it through the door in the box, so I pushed it and I scratched the floor. <laughs> Yay for me. So this is a Better Homes and Garden sofa, and it's super easy to put together. Everything is tucked underneath, like most sofas that you get now, and it's slip covered, which is one of the reasons why I chose it. So it'll make for easy cleanup, which I really like, but all I had to do was screw the feet on and then attach the side arms. Really simple, um, not complicated at all. I would just say it's just heavy <laughs> if you're doing it on your own. So get a little bit of help, but other than that, um, you'll see how it looks very easy and very pleased with the quality of it the Sides just slide on which is pretty cool All of the cushions and covers are labeled. It just is easy because everything has a zipper so you can easily take it off and give it a good wash. But the fabric on it is super thick. Really like it. Uh, I'm just impressed. And then there's a Velcro piece that attaches to the bottom uh, skirt area so you can give it a nice tailored look. I was really excited when I saw this um, sofa because it was slip covered. There was a really pretty green one that I liked, but it wasn't slip covered. So I was like, well, I don't know. Like, I love the green, but I thought I want to be able to add color. Um, more temporarily than just with the furniture so I don't know maybe we'll end up getting that one too I don't know but 
start with this one first and see how it does. So far just sitting on it, it's quite uh, comfortable. So, definitely won't complain. I'm tired. Let's take a nap now. <laughs> but we can't stop yet. We've got to add a few other things. So we will see how that goes. But I'm really actually quite impressed with the fabric on this. It's very soft, very thick. And yeah, the cushions are a little bit smaller than I think I would like totally love. But this is like you could sleep on it. So, um, is it a super thick cushion? No, but it's quite comfortable and it's, it hasn't fully like, you know, aired up yet. So I'm quite impressed, but I just like the fact that you can wash it. So I thought that would be good to have. I definitely got to bring in the rug now so we can cover up the lovely scratch mark that I put all over the floor. rug online look super cushy and plush and I thought oh yes that would be really nice um, I do want to get something a little bit more vintage looking but I want to try this out again to keep things light and airy The furniture was super easy to put together. Literally, you just put each leg in the end, screw on the bits, and then put the middle divider on, and you're done. Super easy. Ooh, this is so pretty. I love the cane detail on it, and it's actually a bench that I thought would make a great coffee table since it's so slender, but it's still wide and nice proportion to the couch. Um, yeah, this is solid. This is beautiful. Ooh. Let me show you some of the accessories I found. First up is this scalloped bowl. Yes. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Now, it may not go on this table, but it's going to go somewhere in this renovation house. Let me tell you that. Also found this really nice gold tray. And again, in proportion, it's really good for like the bench slash coffee table. And then I did pick up a couple pillows and blankets. I really wanted something a little bit more vintage for here and it's really affordable. That's one thing I love about Walmart. It's affordable and you get really beautiful, stylish items. So I thought this would be really pretty. And I showed you this a while back, but this is the My Texas House pillow, really nice. And this one's actually a cover. And again, it has that really pretty green. I love this green, 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 green. Give me all the green. And then um, I found this beautiful marble uh, accent piece, really pretty. And then I got this gorgeous vase. Now this can be used as a vase. It could be used as a decorative object. It doesn't really matter, but gorgeous Walmart. Oh, that's so good. And you can put, um, you can put uh, water in this, put fresh florals, but I thought this would be really pretty. And then, oh, I saw this actually in store and Guys, it's the green. I'm telling you, I'm obsessed with the green, but it's so good. This is a beautiful throw pillow, so soft. The texture on it, huh, so good. Look at the tassels. All these items together and make this face look really beautiful.
Also, what do you think so far of all the furniture and stuff I have added? I definitely still need to get a side table uh, for the space and they make one that actually matches the coffee table or the bench, I should say. So I'm going to probably order that for the space depending on the size of it. But I really like the warmer wood tones in here. I think it's gonna be really beautiful. I wanna add some art in here. I wanna add a wall treatment and bring in a little bit um, of some character to this space. And like I said, this was part one for the living room makeover. Part two will hopefully be wowzer. Um, but again, everything is taking me a little bit longer because I have to truck everything here. It's just, it's a lot, okay? But we're slowly getting there. Like I said, this area is very small. I really just have the two walls to work with because the other area um, is where you enter into the home. And so I'm trying to figure out a way to utilize that space without it taking over the, um, the walk space. So if you got any ideas for me, let me know. But I'm trying to figure out other ways that I can get a more seating in here because this isn't enough seating, okay? It needs a little bit more. And so I got to figure out, we might have to rearrange a few things here and there and try different furniture pieces out. But I think we're getting there and I'd rather work slower than rush it and feel like, uh, you know, I feel like stuck. So if you like any of these items, again, remember, check out all the description box and also the comments. I have everything linked there for you. Walmart.com has so many beautiful options that are affordable. They have really easy shipping. It usually ships in three days to you. So really awesome. So yeah, um, but let me take you outside and we'll set up a little space to relax into. I am so happy I finally got my hands on this beautiful fringed umbrella from Walmart. I wanted it last year and it sold out and they have it in the creamy white and also black and it's so pretty. So much charm to a space you definitely have to grab. Again, everything's linked down below for you. one of my favorite patio sets because for one it's affordable but two it comes in striped and the cream holds up really well in the weather i did scotch guard the cushions just to add a little bit extra but i love the little bow detail on the side and the combo together is beautiful Oh, I cannot wait to add more charm to this living room and to the home. So definitely make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. I have a few more spaces to still work on and then redo and really finalize it and everything. So I hope you're excited. Definitely be sure to check the description box for all the links. I hope you've been inspired and you can find some beautiful items on walmart.com. Hope you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in the next one.